This place is as pristine as I've really seen. The Azores is one of the most sustainable places in the world from going and picking your own vegetables, you know where your salad, your tomatoes, your fish, your beef, you know where all that comes from. They have some of the best wine in the world. It reminds me of tropical New Zealand. It's not as cold. You have the stunning lakes in San Miguel, the beautiful mountain of Pico. I summited a volcano. I went whale watching, saw sperm whales, caught my own fish. I mean, the list goes on. If you want to come to a place and take a step back, relax, catch up, it's nice, quiet. You don't have to deal with highways or cars or pollution or anything like that. I've never seen that anywhere else. I found a little honey hole here, so who knows what the future is going to bring. Yeah, who knows. So.
Nice one. <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah. We need to wait that one. Yeah. Scorpions on the day. Well, Follow the set. <laughs> yeah, it was. The mentor right here. Yeah. He, he showed me how to do it the first time. Got it both so they won't be stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> Very good for salad. I found a big grouper, huge grouper. And I had my camera, so I tried to follow him. And I found another grouper and this guy. I called the boat, they marked the spot, switched the, for the gun, and uh, then another drop. The groupers were gone, but he was still sitting in the sand. And probably 28 meters, we think. I didn't have my watch, but it was a deep dive. I think I'm done for the day. Yeah, <laughs> and it was very good. about how was it oh it was great the whole school of amberjacks came in there's a big shoal and this guy was dark and I remember they were the good eating ones so I didn't go for the big fish I went for the tasty one yeah, and uh, you can see the big hundred pounders were they were down there they were deep um, at what depth they were there, uh, more this or less fish was at 23 meters and the big ones were probably hanging around 30 meters. They were down there. They were deep. Yeah, great. And show us the gun. Yeah. Show us the gun. I handcrafted triple C spear guns. Yeah. Uh, made in Key West. Out of teak and stainless steel. And it's nice to know they work here in the Azores. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Very nice. Yes! Hey, lift it. <laughs> oh man, put you on him. That post wasn't too far off, man. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> no, you got me today. I got you on the scorpion. You got me today, man. <laughs> nice, I found a very nice spot uh, with a deep ledge. I thought this is a, a hogfish spot. I went down, I saw it on the first time but far away, kind of in mid-water, just checking me out. I did two more dives, saw him every time, but he wouldn't come in. Then on the, I think on the fourth dive, I just lay down on the rock. Maybe it was his home and he didn't like me there. He came straight at me. It was a easy boat shot. Nice fish, I'm getting yeah. well, Paulo put me on him. We were kicking and kicking and kicking and yeah, I asked if this was the spot. Shrugged his shoulders, I don't know, and, it and was, I dropped and it kinda, kinda worked out. It was your first dogfish? Yes. yes. Is there any of that in the United States? 
We have hogfish, oh. but it's different. Completely different species. It's a wrasse, part of the wrasse family. Yeah. They have the similar teeth and the similar kind of mouth, but uh, the coloration is completely different. different. And uh, man, my trip is made. I couldn't be happier, tuna or not. This is incredible. Hey, <laughs> follow you. I'm in gear. DVM Azores, Paulo Alfonso as a spearfishing buddy, Caesar. Thank you. Um, sitting here talking with you and doing this interview, you have a really cool thing going, man. I'm an honor to be a part of it. And uh, also CW Azores, they have a world-class diving operation to, if you like scuba diving, if you like free diving, definitely check them out. And if you like fishing, DBM Azores are your guys. They'll put you on the fish. And not only that, they'll show you the beautiful island of Pico. And can't thank you guys enough. Thanks for having me. No, okay. It was a real pleasure. You are, you are family. So from <laughs> now on, you are family. So cool. Thank you a lot. And uh, I hope you have a very good season. I hope that every, that everything's go okay with you and uh, with your fishing charts and your clients also. And we'll keep in touch. And yeah. don't forget to send us some pictures and some movies from your catch. From oh, your the social media is easier now. Yeah, man. yeah, we'll be in touch. Don't yeah, you worry about sure. that. For sure, for sure. <laughs>